What's good guys and welcome to my trading journal. I'm gonna have to rush this because I do have a lot of things to work on. We are actually working on the material for the elementary course, uh, which is actually a paid course, but um, existing members of elementary FX will be getting it for free. So if you are not signed up to us yet, do register with us as a junior or a senior member and we will mail it out to you in the next few weeks when we are completed. Um, it's actually a very, it's a very um, comprehensive course we um it's a very comprehensive course it's it contains modules from reading a price chart all the way up to cipher patterns and all the way up to trade management and all that good stuff so do look out for that for existing members and if you're not member yet do sign up and we will let we'll uh, definitely update you guys so this is a pound dollar as you can see i just got stopped out um i actually i was actually texting the group our private trading group a few hours ago when price was here that i was casually waiting uh, to get stopped down and as you can see i just got stopped out about five minutes ago and um here's a review of the trade this is a very loose cipher pattern that i took uh on the pound dollar we have our x to a our a to b b to c and our cd completion coming right around here and as you can see i had my sell limit slightly below the b completion because i wanted to make sure that my order order was filled um and if you look at the chart you can see that um Price, I, uh, my order got filled, price consolidated a bit and I thought, you know what, I possibly I had a chance, this could be a very good pattern. Before price just shot upwards and stopped me out very quickly uh, for about 36 bits. And one thing that I can uh, learn from this is that I, in, uh, put, in uh, the future trades, I should not take very loose patterns. Instead of using the 786 for an entry reason right here, I should have used this leg. Let me just show it to you. I should have used this <coughs> swing low to swing high. I, a 127, 127 extension of that would have been a better entry. And as you can see, swing low, swing high, back down. You can see we got filled here. If we had placed our order here, 127 would have been a better entry. And the next candle just just reversed very nicely. So uh, I might I might re-enter the markets again. I might wait for possibly a double top before I re-enter for a short position. But as of now, I've been stopped out for for about thirty six pips. So this has been um this has been the pound dollar, a failed trade that I I took. But uh, it serves as a very good learning, uh, a very good lesson for future trades. Um, one more thing that I like to add is that we had the French elections, the second round of it, uh, this weekend, and uh, I would expect a lot of volatility in the euro pairs on on Monday. I was actually thinking of trading some pairs, but um. But you know what, it goes against my rules of trading fundamentals, so I will definitely stay out of the markets until, uh, I, until I, I see that the markets have calmed down and all that stuff. So, this has been my review. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.